Hey, what's up? I'm Ada from DX Daily Podcast, and you got to check this out. So Pharrell knows Jay-Z's creative process as good as anyone. As both a solo artist and one half of the Neptunes, Skateboard P has worked with Hove on countless songs over the last 20 plus years, including I Just Want to Love You, Excuse Me Miss, and Change Clothes. During a recent appearance on the Fader Uncovered podcast, hosted by fellow producer extraordinaire Mark Ronson, Pharrell shed light on what it's like to work with S. Carter in the studio. Or when he writes, and he's just sitting there mumbling to himself, in falsetto, by the way. <laughs> wow. Yo, when he writes a rhyme, he doesn't go, uh, cheer, when the Remy's in the city. He doesn't do that. He goes, yo, yo, when the Remy's in the system, ain't no telling what I fucking will I do That's what they be yelling, I'm up in my blood. And he like taps yeah. you on the shoulder and takes it back again. That's it. He writes in falsetto. Yeah. That's that's crazy. That's odd and different that's, and yeah. weird and amazing and yeah. makes him a character. The impression I get from it in my own brain is just that like he has so much respect for like what the final word in the craft is that like until it's really worked out in his head that it's that good, it doesn't go into his normal voice. I don't know if that's just like preposterous Maybe. to me. I'm like... Maybe. I don't know why he do it. I got to ask him why he does that. I don't know why he does it, but that he's always done that. The other thing that I was thinking about when I was looking at the J records, because you obviously have a very special musical relationship there. I think that J had slick records, obviously giant hits. He was fucking amazing, but he had slick records. But I think that the music and the the stuff that you gave him enabled him to make sexy records. Because when I think of Give It To Me... It's not imaginary player. It's not the smooth R&B. Sh- it's like he got to be playful and sexy and the beat was so dope and the hook was so dope that like, I really feel, and then into excuse me, miss and change clothes. Like, I think that you gave Jay like what he needed to show that entire part of himself that we all like loved. Well, thank you. <laughs> we tried. Yeah. Was that the first record that you made together? Give it to me. I think so. I can't, I can't, I, there I was so. no record that yeah. really like just tore, like that was the record that you were like, New Year's Eve 1999 is 2000 goes like, what am I playing? Am I either going to play next episode or am I going to play Give It To Me? Like, I think that that was like a once every 10 year type of record. Can you tell me a little bit about being in the studio when you made that? I think we made that beat. I want to say, I could be wrong, but I think we made it in one of the, in like a B room, either sound on sound or quad. It escapes me. And that was like, I don't know, that was like one of them 20 minute beats. Yeah. It's one of them that just like, it just came together. Cause he loved um, Shake, Your, uh, Shake Your Ass. Yeah. He was like, yo, I need that. Yeah. Like, uh, okay. Pharrell isn't the only person who thinks Jay-Z is weirder than he lets on. During his interview with Hot 97 earlier this year, Tyler Creator explained why his big homie Hove is low-key a geek. You can listen to Pharrell's full interview on the Fader Uncovered podcast, in which he also discussed the making of Snoop Dogg's Drop It Like It's Hot, his love for No Limit Records, his relationship with Chad Hugo, and more. So let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date on all of our new videos, and subscribe to the DX Daily Podcast on all streaming platforms. And as always, make sure to keep it all the way locked to popdx.com.